Hello everyone, it's Duke from Developer Inspirus. Welcome back to part 3 of Core Graphics. In the last video, we are in the process of designing the graphical art and we got a bug. In this video, we will fix that bug and we'll complete our app. Okay, now I, I think that I found where, what I did wrong. So with the online path, we use the UI Bezier path. And this end angle is not the end angle of the whole thing per se, right? We have to have used the outline end angle here. So I will copy over here. And then let's go back to main storyboard. And hopefully it, it is fixed. Come on. All right. There we go. So previously we used the end angle of that outline um, UI base A path is eight. I'm sorry, pi of four, which is this angle, right? Which is the end angle. So it's always draw to this point. And when we close the path, it will we go close like that. So it will just like drag out like this. Okay. So we find this All right now. What we want to do now is we will change some, let's say we want to change some um, the color of this so it's, it's beautiful, okay? So now I want to change the color uh, of the counter to be this color and the outline color to be that color. And you can see the hex color of this is, hopefully you can see that, 226E6. Four. Okay. So now we have those colors. Now what I want to do is I want to have this number inside here. So you remember we have this number and it also updated. So I will draw a label. Uh, where is it? Okay. So this is a label. Draw, drag out like that, and make sure that it is a sub view of the counter view. Okay, and let's say it is 36, 36, okay, and command equals, and let's say by default it is 5, so it is right center, like that, okay. So now I want this, um, width is 44, height also 44. And let's make it center like that. Okay, so this is right center. So now I will auto lay out this to be center horizontally and vertically in container. And the container here is, is this container, right? And the width and the height. Okay. All right. So that should work. Now let's have some IB outlets to this, will we? So, but. Where should we be uh, IB outlets? Now, I think that when you are in this level of um, expertise in outlets, so you should know that we cannot use IB outlets in our views, right? Actually, actually we can, but now we want to do some um, user interaction. So we will need to do that in the view controller. So I will open this. Oh, not good. So it is automatic view controller. Now in the view controller, I want to have a counter view and a counter label. So let's do that. This is the counter view. Counter view. And this is the counter label. Counter label. Okay. Now, what do I want to do next? I want to have an IB action con push button did tap okay and it, it can be either of this so I will drag out like that push button did tap and this is an action we don't actually care about the type just just leave it there okay and let's drag out this one also all right so let's open up the design I'm sorry the the view controller and do some code with this. 
Now the first thing I want to do is if if the button is if the button, okay, where's all right? So I mess it up now. Before I do this, so I will change this into button, and I want to make sure this is designable view button view, because if you remember that the designable button view we have an a variable a property called is add button. So we can know that whether we want to add or we want to decrease minus, right? So now I want to go back to main storyboard and don't forget to uncheck this one and uncheck this one. And then we have to connect it again because if we, we don't, then we our app will crash. So now for this control drag to that, for this control drag to that. Then we get to go. View controller. Okay. So now if button is is add button, uh, then we will do counter view dot counter plus plus. Okay. So that's why we use the counter view. We have a counter and it it, it is public. So that we can set it like that. Then else it is not an add button. Then it must be minus right but we want to do if counter view dot counter great greater greater than zero if it is greater than zero then we will update this counter view dot counter minus minus okay and don't forget to update the counter label dot text dot text is string of counter view dot counter all right so now what what we want to do now is we will um run this okay because right now if we go to main door storyboard nothing happened because we cannot interact with the button and user interaction here so let's run this okay we succeeded where is it there we go so now when we click into one either of these this label and the drawing should update right all right uh good that this label is updated because it we update in the view controller but there must be something wrong with this view right because we update the view uh, it is an update so there must be something wrong with the view well if let's go back to the counter view because if you remember that um, the draw right we never call that we just put our drawing cup into the draw right and we will leave the job of whether calling this method or not to the system you remember the last video when we're talking about when the system will call the draw right method well one of this is whether we have our view our layout to change something right then we will need to call something not draw it we will need to call set needs display so now we will have to call set needs display but where is it well i want to call set needs display when we change the counter so i will make this <coughs> um, i will make this as a computed property just like that this is a computed property right and whether it is the set it the set then I will check if counter less than or equals to number of items. If it is, then I will set its display, which is just redraw. Okay, counter. All right. Now when I run it again, it should work. Okay. So let's hope that it works. All right. Look at that. It's nine, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. That's it for today's challenge. I hope that you have been enjoying this three-part tutorial of introduction to core graphics. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post it down below, and I will be answering questions and reviewing comments personally. 
This daily challenge is brought to you by developerinspires.io. Do you want free iOS tutorials and resources? Visit me at developerinspires.io and subscribe to our newsletter. Until next time, I see you in the next daily challenge.